Good morning. I'm Matt Sizemore with the Six on Your Side News Update. It's rodeo time. The 85th annual Caldwell Night Rodeo is underway, kicking off every night this week before wrapping up with the championships on Saturday. The Buckaroo Breakfast is back too. You can grab pancakes, sausage, eggs, and more each morning. But get there early. Of course, hundreds show up to the breakfast as the Caldwell Chamber of Commerce dons the aprons and serves up the grub. That starts at 630 every morning. And if you're looking for a new career, there's an event just for you. An after hours job fair is being held at the Nampa Civic Center. Over 60 companies will be represented during the fair. Employers from several different fields are looking for entry level, experienced full time and part time candidates. Today's job fair is from four to seven. You can find out how to pre register on our website, six on your The Idaho Department of Fish and Game is getting a new HQ this time in Boise. The department reached a deal with the Idaho Fish and Wildlife Foundation for the new building that will replace an existing facility from the mid 1960s. Construction of the 70,000 square foot building will start next year and be finished by 2022. Fish and Game will lease the new building for 25 years from the foundation. All right, time for a check in the On Your Side forecast. Rachel Garceau is standing by and Rachel, I know we're going to have a lovely day today. Yeah, lovely if you love sunshine and heat. That's exactly right. A pretty quiet weather day, but our temperatures do take off over yesterday into the mid 90s this afternoon. Brilliant sunshine throughout the day and some wind picking up as well. A nice northwesterly breeze at maybe 10 to 12 miles per hour this afternoon. That will offer some relief from the heat. 97 for Ontario. 94 in the city of trees, a high of 90 over in Twin Falls and beautiful conditions. If you're headed to the high terrain today, we're talking low to mid 80s from McCall and Sun Valley this afternoon. Now tomorrow we'll see that wind increase a little bit. Temperatures will drop a high of 90 degrees expected in Boise on Thursday, and we'll have a couple of spot showers or thunderstorms that are possible in our higher elevations on Thursday. That's all ahead of some cooler air that will briefly work its way in to wrap up the work week and kick off the weekend. We're looking at highs in the mid 80s for Friday and Saturday in Boise. After that, though, we rebound back into the 90s, so we'll hit about 93 for Sunday, and that's where those high temperatures will stay through the middle of next week with abundant sunshine through the extended period. Remember, for your very latest news and weather headlines, you can always visit 6onyourside.com.